terms of the transplantation. What happens on the first day? What happens on the second day? What happens on the fifth day? Seventh day? When can I travel? Can I wear a cap? Can I go for swimming? What about gym? What to eat? When to apply medicine? All these questions are frequently asked by patients. And to answer them, I am Dr. Venkat Ram Maisu, hair transplant surgeon, dermatologist, Venkat Center for Skin ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar, Manashankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. Hair transplantation is a gentle procedure. Long procedure, but gentle procedure. There is no admission to hospital. You go home the same way. Usually, admission is not required unless somebody has a comorbidity, diabetes, blood pressure, heart disease, or somebody has come from another place, he has no place to stay, we can keep him in the hospital. That day, you take antibiotics, avoid alcohol, avoid smoking, all medicines after food. Once the bandage is removed, there are two important care that is needed for the hair. One, avoid dryness. Two, avoid heat. Dryness and heat are dangerous for the grafts. Dryness, to avoid it, keep putting water. Water means boiled cold water, mineral water, or saline that we give, or a spray that we give. Keep spraying it, or you can take a little cloth or gauze, put it in water and squeeze it, or just sprinkle it like this. It is like a tender plant, so keep the grafts moist, keep putting water frequently. What if I am travelling, I am going by train, no problem, even then, this can be done easily. What if I am on a flight, it is even easier, just ask for some mineral water and sprinkle it. What if I am going by car, same thing. What if I am driving by motorcycle, don't drive motorcycle for a very long. 15 minutes, 20 minutes is fine, but if you put on a helmet for a very long time, then there is heat. That is the second factor. Heat is dangerous to the grafts. So avoid standing in the sun for a long time, avoid working in a hot environment, avoid putting on helmet for a long time. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes is not an issue. But long periods of time, try to remain indoor. This is for the first 5 days. During 5 days, the grafts are settling. Once settled, they will get their own blood supply. Then there is no problem. First 5 days, you have to be cautious. What if I get itching? If the hair becomes dry, you get itching. So avoid dryness, you won't get itching. If it still scratches a little bit, take a ear, but put it in a little coconut oil or even just water. Just gently apply it vertically. That's all that is needed. What else can happen? Second day, third day, everything usually happens. This is all. Pain is usually minimal. Take painkillers if needed. All medicines after food. If you don't take after food, you will get gastritis. On the fourth or fifth day, some people can get swelling on the forehead. Why does this happen? We have put a lot of water saline during anesthesia. Because of gravity, it comes down here, here, here. And that, when it comes to the back, it is not seen. When it comes to the front, you see the swelling, as you can see here in these photographs. It comes to the forehead, then it comes to the ear, when the eyelids become swollen like this, and it looks chinky. After another 3-4 days, it goes down to the face, it disappears. It automatically, by itself, without any treatment, it disappears. Nothing to worry. But, we try to prevent it. We give an injection at the end of surgery. We put a plaster here to prevent water from going down. And then we teach you to massage it. Like this. Pushing the water from the center to the sides like this. 10 times, 20 times, every 3-4 hours you keep doing this. Don't sit for a long time or don't do the very thick pillow. Use a flat pillow so that when you sleep like this, water goes down here like this. With all this, 90% don't get swelling. But in spite of these, 10% can get swelling. 
particularly people above 40, 50, because their skin is loose. If it happens, do not panic. Put ice cubes or ice pack, just keep it for a couple of minutes. Every two hours, three hours, keep massaging it. We will have given you a tablet. No need to worry, just wait, it disappears. Remember, this happens only after four or five days. So if anybody is scheduling their travel, particularly by international travel, the immigration, the photo will look different. It has happened to many patients. You carry the discharge clip with you to show him, look here, I have done this surgery. But otherwise, this is inconsequential. It doesn't affect the grafts. It disappears by itself. No need for panic. This we tell beforehand to everybody. What about gym and exercise? Walking is not a problem. From first day you do it. Jogging, other types of exercises after about a week. Severe exercises, strenuous exercises, swimming after about three weeks. Cycling, scooter, not an issue. Sweating is not an issue. What about work? Leave is not generally needed unless you want to rest. Most people don't take leave. Some professions, teachers, policemen, they may feel the need not to be exposed to the students or colleagues. They can wear a cap, not a problem. But we do not say that you need leave. Most people do not take leave. When can I travel? Next day you travel. By fifth or sixth day, the grass will start falling. That is called shedding. Root will be inside, sharp falls. Do not panic. Around this time, you start minoxidil. That will minimize the shedding. And once they are shed, it takes about three months for growth of hair. You have to be patient. What about the donor area? Nothing usually happens. It heals in one day. Some people may have a little bit of tingling sensation, little bit of sensitive skin, but that is very, very mild and no treatment is needed for them. So these are the changes that happen after transplantation. On the first day, second, third, fourth days, fifth to seventh days, this is what happens. All these things are told to the patient before. It is a very predictable surgery. And we send a video also to the patient so that he is familiar whenever he has a doubt, he can listen to the video. So there is no need for anxiety. Diet, you use you, you eat your usual diet. Don't eat too much spicy food when you are taking antibiotics, it may cause acidity. That is all. Some people say, what about some copper peptide spray, so many other sprays? There is no proof that they work much. It is everybody's fancy. No need to bother too much about those things. So, hair transplantation is a very uneventful surgery usually. Everything is informed to the patient. I hope you have liked this video. If you like it, you share it. And you also visit our website, venkatcenter.com. Any topics that you wish to hear, please communicate to us. Thank you very much. All the best.